Hey everyone, welcome back to Beginner's Guide in Data Science, ML, and AI. So this is a sequence of videos about overleaf tutorials. We want to show you a couple of tools to give you the knowledge for you to write an academic paper and get the paper into a publishable ready format. In this particular video, we are talking about bibliography. So when it comes to bibliography, the first thing you need to know is this .bib file on the left-hand side of your directory in your Overleaf project. So for example, I'm clicking on references.bib, B-I-B, and you see the symbol says at in proceedings, and then a curly bracket that says uh, some sort of uh, syntax. And then you see title, author, book title, things like that. Now for journals, you will say at article, and then whatever syntax it is, it will also comes with title, author, journal name, year, so on and so forth. So this is where all of the objects of each journal or each book is stored. They are in this file. Now, of course, in the latex file, so this is the dot text file, you're actually gonna have to call on that script. So to do that, in the bottom of the template that we see here, you see slash bibliography style and slash bibliography, it says curly bracket, it actually says references. This references is talking about this .bib file in the same directory. And these papers will not show up unless they are called or referenced within the context. So. Let me show you an example. Typically, when we do literature review, we go to Google Scholar. And in Google Scholar, let's say I am interested in a handwritten digital data set. I type in the keyword handwritten digital recognition. Uh, there are lots of papers popping up. Let's just say I use the first paper as an example. I like this paper, right? I read it, and then I feel like I want to cite this. So if that's a decision, then you click on this button, Cite and it will give you a couple of things. What we need is this bib text down here. So click on that button. It'll take you to this new link. And then this object is where you need to copy to be able to put in a dot bib script. So open a new line, paste. You see now this script here, it's updated with a new article. Now, if I don't do anything else, I just say recompile, you're not gonna see anything popping up. It's still three citations, right? This new paper, it's not in there. And the reason it's not in there is because I haven't cited here, right? So let's say I make a citation. To make a citation, I need to go to .bib file and call upon this syntax in the first line. So whatever this is, right? LIU 2003, have written. And this is a syntax that I need to call. So I grab that. I come back here. Uh, let's say I'm doing it in the conclusion just because it's closer. So I say, and written digit recognition is a powerful data set. And then before I finish up the sentence with the period, I can then do a citation, so slash cite, and then I can put the syntax in there. Boom, just like that. If you don't remember it somehow, you can type in LIU, the first couple of letters, and the hyperlink should be able to give you some sort of recommendation. Click on that, it's the same thing. Now you can render it, and it will pop in out two things. It will pop in out this reference with the bracket number four, within the article, right, in this particular paragraph in conclusion, you will also add this new citation in the bottom of the reference list. And that is how you create a reference or create a citation in Latex in Overleaf. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.